Hi everyone, Nicholas Parfit is here from sunny Cyprus and guess what? Summertime is here. Educators, time for a break. But some of you are already planning for the next year. So whether you're doing your planning early or you're one of these educators, really a little bit like me, where you're going to do your planning right before the beginning of the next term, this video is all about helping you create your new class teams and use the resources and all the setup that you have of your old class team as a template for your new one. Now, I find one of the most common questions at the beginning of the academic year, or the next academic year is, how do I do a new class team? What's the process I should follow? How do I get my resources from my class notebook, which I have in Microsoft Teams, into the new class notebook? Do I rename the team? Do I start a new one? Do I remove all the students and add new students? Well, I'm here to help. And my advice is this, do not delete your old teams, do not rename them, do not take students off your team and add new ones. What you want to do is create a new class team, make sure that the name represents the class that you're going to be teaching, and make sure that name also represents the academic year. And I'm gonna show you today how you can use the class team that you had as a template for your next class team. And I'm going to stress this again, do not rename the team. I see a lot of educators renaming the team and just changing the academic year of the naming uh, convention of it, let's say from 2022 to 2023. Don't do this. The reason why is because you're going to have to remove all the students, add new students. That's going to cause a whole load of other problems. But the most important reason for me is every class team, when you create it, it gives you the ability to email all the all the members of that team. So you can actually email all your students. Not many people know this. So that username, that name of the file of your teams is actually an email address. And if you go and change the name of your team, the email address does not change. And then it get, just gets harder and harder and harder to know which name you use to create the team originally. Now, I'm going to get started with showing you an actual team which I have and I'm going to be creating my next team for next year, transferring my class notebook resources, transferring all of my files from the class materials from the old to the new. And all of these things that you can see here, whether it's the tabs, the channels, files, folders, the class notebook, everything. Okay, so I'm here in a class team. It's a, the year nine class team, which has basically finished this year, this year nine group. They're gonna move over to year 10. And I want to use this team and its resources as the basis of my next year nine class I'm going to have next year, 22, 23 academic year. So essentially, let's just have a quick look at what I want to transfer from this team to the new team. So I'm gonna to go to files. One of the things that I do want to transfer, things like in my class materials. So this is resources that students have access to. And I also want to transfer my class notebook. You can only transfer things in your content library and your teachers only section. So you can see here in my content library, I've got a whole load of sections here. This one's on Illustrator, for example. These are all the resources. And I don't want to copy these over one by one. And this is probably one of the biggest hurdles educators have creating a new notebook or class notebook, especially a class a team's class notebook and getting all that material into the new one and this is why they tend to opt out and just simply rename the class team for the next year group and remove the students and that causes a whole load of problems so you don't want to do that there's an easy way to do this and i'm going to show you how so those are the two things i do want to transfer over things like here at the top the tabs that i've got ard this is a link to my bookings page. I'm showing you this because I'm going to transfer the tabs as well. But when you actually transfer the tabs, the tabs are actually linked with an app. The type of app that it's linked to is when you click on this plus sign, you've got all these um, different apps that you can add, whether it's a website, search coach forms or whatever. So when you actually transfer these tabs to a new team, it doesn't transfer the settings of that. app. It just transfers the tab, the tab name and the type of app it is. You'll have to set it up again. Okay, so let's get started with, with this. The first thing that I want to do is to create the new class team. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to the bottom down here where it says join or create a team. If you've got a different view to your teams, you've got the grid view, then this these buttons here, the settings and the join, create a new team is gonna be up here in the top right. 
I'm using this one, so I'm just going to click here, and from here I'm going to create a new team. That new team is going to be a class team, and I'm not going to give it the name. I'm going to go create a team using an existing team as a template, this one here. I'm going to choose the team that I'm going to use as a template, and that's this team here. I'm going to select that and go to choose team. And obviously you can scroll down if, if your team is further down the list. Click on choose team. And next thing I want to do is change the name. Now remember, it's good to have a good naming convention so you know which team belongs to what, and that way you know which team you're going to archive. And for example, this particular team, the old team of my year nines, I'm not going to delete it, I'm going to archive it. And right now on your screen at the top, there'll be a notification to another video tutorial, which actually shows you how to declutter your teams. So don't delete them, but I actually go into the difference between deleting, archiving and renaming. So it's a really interesting video if you don't know that. And I'm going to change the academic year to 22, 23. And uh, sorry, two. And this is going to be my year nine T class. Actually, yeah, I'll just call it Z because I'm not going to use this one. I'm probably going to change it. So there we go. So that's my year nine Z class CT 2022-2023's academic year NP. My initials. Now um, I am going to transfer my tabs. I'm going to transfer the team settings and the apps. I can transfer my students as well, but that will be defeating the purpose. Remember, this is going to be a team for my new year nine class. However, if I wanted to create this team for my year nine going to year 10 class, then I really wouldn't be transferring my files over, but I could just transfer the students. So if I'm going to have these students next year in another class, then I can click this. That will transfer all my students to the new team. And of course, later, I'm not going to transfer the files from my year nine class to the year 10 because they've done those resources. So it's up to you what you want to do. All right, so I'm just going to click on create. And the next step is going to be, it's going to ask me if I want to add students or teachers. So I'm just going to add a student here, STU2 at, there we go. Going to go to add. You can add teachers as well if you collaborate with um, other teachers or if you're sharing resources. Um, I, I tend to add another teacher in, in ICT and we kind of like go into each other's teams and see what each other's done and see the class notebook. So that's entirely up to you. I'm going to click on close now and that's it. My team is ready. So if, if this was a new year 10 class, let's say, all my students will be added to this and I will go and add the material from the year 10. Okay, so let's go and get the files from my old class team and bring them into this new class team. So I'm going to go find the old class team. Here it is here, year 9R. I'm going to go to general, files, and these two folders here, these are in the documents area. Now, in general, these uh, folders are read and write accessed by all students and the teacher, of course. So there may not be so much work that you want to bring in from your old class team here. It will probably be the student work. I want to get files from the class materials area, so I'm going to click on this. So I'm, I'm only going to transfer these two folders here. I can select all of them, but I just want to show you, if you select one file to find the one folder, should I say, to find the copy to, you need to click on the three dots up here if there's not enough room up here. So that's the more section. I've got copy to, but if you select more than one folder or one item, you're going to see the menu at the top becomes slightly uh, smaller and you've got the copy to here. So I'm going to click on copy to. Now, the good thing is in the past, you'd go to uh, SharePoint to do this. You can do this directly from your teams. So clicking on copy to, you can see it opens up now all my teams, which I've got access to. And if you can't find your team here in the quick access, I can actually see my one here. You can go to more places and you will find your team in here. Now, quick note. If you've just created this team, there's a high chance you may not see this team unless you wait for a short while. So I suggest if you're going to be, you know, you're an early planner, you're going to be creating your teams for next year early, create the teams first and then come back at a later time when these um, teams are available here and you can transfer the files then. So I'm going to choose this team here. This is my new one and I've got two areas. Now, as soon as I click from here, can you see it goes to the general folder? 
that's not where I want to put my files. I want to put them in the class materials. So I'm going to click up here where the team name is, click on that, and now I've got access to the class materials area and the documents area. So I'm going to click on class materials and I'm going to say copy here. And look at the top here, look, copying two items. That's how easy it is. So it's a really easy process to get the files, your resources, from the folder structure, let's say. There you go, everything's done. Um, and copy those over to a new team. So no need to rename these teams anymore. So if I go down now, here's my new team. I'm gonna to go to the general, go to files, and look at that, class materials. There are my two folders, and everything inside the folder is there. Okay, so the next step is going to be how do we transfer our resources from our OneNote class notebook into the new Teams OneNote class notebook. So I'm just going to go to here from my new team here, the 9Z one, I'm going to go to class notebook. Now it's going to see that it's a new notebook, so it tells you to set up a OneNote class notebook. I'm going to click on that, and then it says a blank notebook or from an existing notebook content. So I'm going to click on existing notebook content. Next, it's going to show you what it's going to create, the collaboration space, the content library, teacher, only section, students, notebooks. I'm just going to go to next. So this is where I'm going to transfer the content from my old notebook to my new notebook. Now, you don't have to transfer files from the content library into the content library. I'm going to show you a small example of that. So first of all, I'm going to go to the content library and I want to add here and from here, I'm going to find the notebook which has the material which I want to transfer into. That's this one here, CY9R. Click Next. Now, in, from my content library of that notebook, I just want to transfer the access in the Excel. The lesson diary, I'm going to transfer, although it's in the content library of my old notebook, I'm going to transfer that into my teacher only area. The reason is my lesson diary has got a running, uh, let's say, in date format what I taught every lesson. And if I put that in the teacher only area of my new notebook, I'll be able to see when I compare my, let's say my new lesson diary in my new notebook with the old one, where I am to see if I'm on track or just to see what I did next. It just helps me uh, know the planning that I had the previous year, but I don't want the students to be able to see what I did last year with previous students. So in the content library, I'm only going to put this. OK, and if I wanted to add something from the teacher only area, then I can click that and add that. And that will go into my content library of the new notebook. So I don't want that. I'm just going to click on done. There you go. Two sections. And then in the teacher only area, I'm going to add content. Same notebook. Click on next. I want to add from the content library. I want to add my lesson diary. And in the teacher only area, I want to add this here. OK, this I didn't really have anything in there, but that's fine. I've got two pages here and I'm going to click on done. So you can see here now how I brought some material from my old notebook into the teacher only area of my new notebook, just so that I don't have to keep opening my old notebook to see what I did. I'll have that in the teacher only area. That's it. I'm going to go to next. Now here, the classic, what do you want to give? Which sections do you want your students to have? So I'm gonna have things like handouts, class notebooks, homework. I don't want quizzes. And if you want to add a section, you can do that. Um, uh, it's got class notes. You can add a section if you want, just give it a name. I don't want one. I'm gonna click on create. And that's it, it's getting my notebook ready. OK, so it says here your class notebook is ready. We'll send you a team's message where all your sections have been copied. So if I click on OK, I can now go to here, go to my content library. And look at that. It's populated the, these items in here. It gives you these default um, using the content library things. I do find them kind of annoying. I do tend to delete them as soon as it's done. So as soon as this is finished, you know, uploading and it's synced and everything, I am going to actually delete that section. But if I look in my teacher only area, you can see it's put my lesson diary in this section, not in the content library section. Look at that. I can go back and go see what it is I did on particular dates. So that's the content library, uh, my class notebook, content library and teacher only space. We've done the files as well. Absolutely fantastic. It's not such a big process. 
Okay, so that's it. If you found this video tutorial useful and you've learned something new, for example, how you can take all your resources from an old class team and move them over to a new class team, use the old one as a template, that's absolutely fantastic. Remember, don't delete the old class team. Archive it. As I said, there's a link down at the bottom in the description which will show you how you can archive your teams and that way you can always go back and refer to those teams. So if you haven't learned something new, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.